Summer is right around the corner and things are definitely starting to warm up. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my must-have essentials for summer 2023. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Summer is here. It's starting to get hot, the sun is out, and I'm just really excited for the kind of summer weather, the summer vibes, the summer outfits, just summer everything. I'm ready, we're ready. And so in today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through everything that I'm going to be wearing this season. I'm gonna talk about things that I find that are super essential when putting together outfits, where you can get these pieces from, how I would style it, and Basically, this video right here is going to be a guide for you for all of your summer 2023 men's fashion inspo needs and wants and just everything in between. As always, it gets chatty here, so do what you have to do. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax with me for a bit. And let's dive into today's video. I'm excited for it. I'm excited that summer's here, so let's get it. Coming up, number one on the list is a tried and true for me. I'm talking about oversized button-up shirts. I'm talking about long sleeve button-up shirts as well as short sleeve button-up shirts. And the trick with these is you have to do them oversized. Personally for me and my body type and just the way that I like men's fashion and styling and outfits and stuff, I just feel like things look better when they're oversized. I feel like there is a effortless touch and just more relaxed look and feel to oversized clothing. I'm not saying you have to be drowning in your clothes. I'm just saying maybe going up one size or so so that the piece or the garment isn't clinging to your body. In terms of my personal favorites, I have a long sleeve option from Carb Studios that I really like. The long sleeve option kind of paired with a really nice rolled up loose cuff, kind of similar to what I'm wearing right now with a couple buttons undone at the top. And again, that oversized fit I just feel like is a really great option for when you're trying to wear something that's a little bit more elevated during the summertime and or you're going somewhere that you want to be a little bit more dressy as far as the short sleeve option you guys are seeing a piece that I have from Prada of course the short sleeve option that you guys have doesn't have to be from Prada this is just my personal favorite and again it has to has to it has to be oversized that is just the finishing touch on this particular piece and why I feel like it's so essential for the summertime. I'm just the type of person I love kind of looking a little bit more refined, all the while still being on my casual flex. And so I feel like the button up shirt oversized, whether you're doing short sleeve or long sleeve, is such a great option and alternative to the classic basic tee that you can easily dress up or dress down. Another favorite and essential of mine for the summertime is a lightweight crop trouser. I'm talking about anything that's light as a kind of cotton chino or anything lighter such as a overall kind of like linen material. Just anything that kind of offers that airflow and that lightweight fabric for the warmer days in summer. Obviously when we're wearing trousers and we're wearing pants, we don't want to overheat during the summertime, but I personally still like to wear trousers, specifically crop trousers this time of the year because again, I just feel like it offers that refinement. It offers that nice touch of dressiness that still can either be played up or played down. This particular trouser that you're seeing from Zara is in my opinion 10 out of 10. It is the perfect kind of example of a summer trouser. I love how it's cropped. I love the color and not to mention I love 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 the styling opportunities with a pant like this. You can dress it up with a oversized button up shirt, short sleeve or long sleeve or if you wanted to kind of be more casual you could easily opt for a basic tee tucked in or tucked out with the said crop trousers with some sneakers or some loafers, a hat, shades, bag and you are good to go. You guys can find so many iterations of crop trousers for the summertime so I will be sure to leave links to some of my favorites in the description box down below but overall crop trousers in my personal opinion a must and I do have a mention of shorts in this video so stay tuned for that but if I had to choose I would definitely choose crop trousers over shorts. Something about me, I love, love, love a good practical accessory. That is the next essential that I'm gonna be talking about for this summer season. Having your hands free, all the while still having access to your essentials such as your phone, is such a great sort of option and thing to have. And with the help of Casetify and their cases, as well as their new rope straps slash phone straps, they definitely make that possible for people like me. I have a few new phone cases from them that I wanna show you guys and you're seeing on the screen right now. I feel like phone cases are 
are definitely an underrated accessory when you're out and about and you know you're running errands you kind of for the most part always have your phone in hand if you know you're typing something googling something or you're just looking something up you're on social media you know passing the time so in a way your phone case kind of adds to your overall outfit and your overall vibe i love the caseify cases there is so many options that you guys can choose from from different levels of protection designs case types colors the list truly goes on and on i personally have a ton of caseify cases and i just love everything about them in addition to the case to five cases i really love their phone straps it's super easy to use and it's super easy to install you can wear the case of five rope straps across your body on your shoulder you can also wear it as a wristlet it's super adjustable and comes in a wide 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 assortment of different sort of like colors and designs and options that you guys can choose from and again i just feel like the case to five phone cases plus the case to five rope straps are just such a great overall accessory for the summertime if any of you guys are interested in stepping up your your phone case sort of game as well as kind of dabbling into some accessories for your phone i do have a discount that you guys can use to save some money off of your case if i order it's on the screen as you guys are seeing and i will be sure to leave product links as well as the kind of discount typed out and linked in the description box down below for you guys it is no secret in every single video, I am always wearing a hat. So my next essential for the summertime is a unique hat option of some sort. The hat that I wanna highlight is this one right here from Celine that I have been wearing so much lately. I got it fairly like a while ago. I think I got it during like the fall and winter, but I've been wearing it actually nonstop as of late. Heavily, it's just been in my rotation. Every single outfit, I slap it on. So what I deem as a unique hat is just anything that's outside of the normal hat. Something that has embroidery on it, has multi colors, has a unique kind of silhouette something that is just outside of the traditional kind of baseball cap kind of like what i'm wearing right now i love the celine one particularly because i feel like you know it's essentially just a basic standard black cap but you get kind of like that nice little branding minimal moment with the front with the celine logo of course you guys don't have to have the celine logo and you don't have to get this celine specific one i'll be sure to leave links to some of my favorites but especially for us fellas during the summertime we we really are limited to the options that we have for clothes and so it's really about pumping up that accessory game and so imagine a all black fit or even a an all white fit whatever color you like basic tee tucked into some trousers some really nice socks sneakers mules loafers and then finishing it off with a unique hat that kind of offers that little something that little casual flex i feel like that just kind of will take your outfit from here all the way to here it would not and it could not be a summer essentials video without a mention of shorts. You guys already know how I feel about shorts. I feel like it's kind of one of those things. It's not my personal favorite, but I would be remiss to not mention it in this video right here. When I am rocking shorts, I have two favorites. I usually opt for a really nice high quality thick sweat shorts of some sort, as well as a more classic refined, more dressier pair of shorts. So my go-to sweat shorts of all time is actually from my homie Nate's brand, Studio Du Jour. I love kind of this heavy weight, sort of material that he used for the sweatshirt. I love the really nice tight thick waistband. It kind of also offers that visual interest too because the waistband is so thick. I love kind of this, I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional like ruching that kind of the waistband offers, which I really like. And when I'm just really trying to be on my casual, a little bit more sporty flex, I will always opt for my Studio Du Jour short. And then if I want something that's a bit more refined, I'm trying to be a bit more on my more dressier tip and I just kind of want to play into more of this kind of elevated look and outfit. I will always gravitate towards a refined pair of shorts. So imagine just a trouser reimagined into a pair of shorts. I personally love getting these kind of shorts from H&M. You don't have to splurge on these at all whatsoever. And or I love checking them out at the thrift. So that's kind of like a top tip within this category for you guys. Personally for me, if it's not like high quality sweat shorts, I would not invest in shorts just because if you're not a fan of shorts like me, there is no point in investing in them personally love opting for and kind of gravitating towards more unique sneakers during the summertime because I feel like just with accessories, that same sentiment follows through to unique sneakers. You can easily elevate your outfits when you're wearing and when you opt for unique sneakers because it just kind of takes your outfit to that next level without even trying or without even kind of like doing too much. You can easily be wearing a simple basic tee, crop trousers, maybe do like black on black or even like gray on gray, tan on tan, you know, that nice tonal vibe. And then if you wear a unique sneaker, that kind of offers just something a little bit different, whether it's a new silhouette, it's an underrated brand, it's an up and coming brand, it has multi colors, it's chunky, or it's just a sneaker that maybe not a lot of people have. I feel like that right there is definitely a 
banger. And so the two that you guys are seeing, the one from Collegium, shout out to my homie Nick for blessing me with those. I love the colorway of these and I'm excited to kind of show you guys some proper outfit styling photos with these. That's a great option as well as these really interesting like chunky New Balance sneakers that I actually think is intended for hiking and I'm not gonna be hiking with them, but I kind of saw it in the shoe store. It was actually a nice like designer shoe store here in Seattle. And I was like, that's so interesting. And I have yet to see anyone rock this shoe. Um, I just love that, like that chunky aesthetic. And I love how it doesn't look like a traditional casual shoe. It looks like a training shoe or a hiking shoe. And I kind of like that juxtaposition. It would not be a Stevie Solid video without a mention of a bag. I personally love incorporating bags into my outfits because I just feel like it's one of those things that it's so practical. There is such a wide variety of all different types of bags, tote bags, mini bags, small bags, shoulder bags, crossbody bags, fanny packs, the list truly goes on and on. And I feel like it's one of those things that not only does it offer some sort of purpose and some sort of practicality level to your outfits, but it also looks nice and it also adds to the overall fit. You already know I've been rocking my Loewe large puzzle bag in the khaki green color heavy and rightfully so because I paid a lot of money for that fucking piece so best believe I will be getting a ton of wear out of it and you will be seeing me style it and talk about it non-stop whether it kind of offers some sort of like visual interest with the color the shape the silhouette and or just any sort of bag in general that you know you want to throw your everyday essentials in you know throw it over your shoulder cross body fanny pack whatever i really love that bag i also love just like basic shoulder bags or tote bags if you guys are new here i just recently did a collaboration with article and goods and my bags i'm happy to announce is really 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 close to being sold out i think there's less than five units of each bag and so the bags that you're seeing on the screen right now i actually designed that at the top of the year and the units have been moving slowly but surely and i'm just super excited Excited that you guys are loving it the feedback has been amazing so shout out to you guys if you want to get your hands on those bags definitely do so they're about to um like sell out so you know check it out but going back to bags for the summertime so essential definitely a must and it can truly be styled so many ways and the best part about bags is you can find them at all different types of categories and silhouettes at so many different price points so whatever you're working with and whatever you like there's definitely an option for you Last up on the list is my personal favorite. I don't really know if it's going to be a fan favorite. Y'all will have to let me know in the comments down below. I'm talking about mules. So the specific one that I've been really liking lately is the Bottega Veneta clogs. So I would say like clogs slash mules is kind of what I'm talking about. And it's just this really like effortless, just I don't give a fuck sort of energy that these kind of shoes give off. I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of like, it's like house slippers, but it's like you're going outside. And so I kind of like that. And then especially when you style it right with, just take everything that I said, imagine the clogs or the mule, whatever you like and whatever you want to call it, paired with a oversized button up shirt, crop trousers, unique hat, nice bag, and then have the clogs at the bottom of the outfit just to kind of finish it off and round it out. That is, in my opinion, such a great summer look and summer option. I think this sort of essential is great for you guys who, you know, you don't want to wear just sneakers for the summer. You want to switch it up and you want to try something new. I feel like a clog or a mule is a really great option for you guys. You can find clogs or mules from pretty much any sort of brand. It doesn't have to be Bottega Veneta, obviously. So again, I will leave links to my favorites down below in the description box, but I just love the overall effortless feel and vibe that clogs and mules give off. And not to mention, it's just kind of like that backless sort of no strap situation that a clog or mule offers. Just reads so heavily summertime and it's just such a great practical option that you can slide your foot in and out of provides that airflow it's kind of one of those things not for everyone and that's fine um, so let me know in the comments down below are y'all liking mules or clogs for the summertime and if you don't it's totally fine i don't care to each is their own obviously just let me know in the comments down below let's chat let's talk keep it respectful though all right, you guys, and that is it for my must-have summer 2023 men's fashion essentials. Much love for watching. If you made it this far, you are definitely a real one. As always, links to everything will be mentioned and linked and just typed out in the description box below for you guys. Definitely be sure to check that out. There's going to be so many resources that you guys can find in this video. Hopefully, you took away some inspo for this upcoming summer season. And if you like videos like this, definitely be sure to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button and drop me some love in the comments down below. And make sure you're following me over on Instagram and TikTok. And you're keeping up with my YouTube shorts so you can see all of these things in motion with other pieces of content. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And I'm really excited for this summer content to come and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.